you know. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome to the damn crazy house with me, your host, Khadija. Um, first of all, my heart and my prayers go out to the many people of Kentucky that experienced that horrible, horrible tornado and all the little children and families that were devastated by it. My heart and my prayers and my sympathies go out to you and your families because that is some devastating stuff. I saw the aftermath and I and my heart just bled for y'all. Those of y'all who survived, God bless you. And I know that you the only you you're the only ones that can describe the the horror that 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 town experienced because I'm surprised there was any survivors after I saw that. I mean, I, it, it was pure pure horrible. And the worst part about it is like the weather is so crazy. So we got a choice here, okay? I think it's either or. Some of y'all might say both, and that's okay with me too. But I can say this, either global warming is real, and we're going to have to acknowledge it and deal with it and keep fighting that this government acknowledges the devastation of global warming, or we going to have to really sit down on the ideal that God is watching us. God is watching us. God is watching us from a distance. And he, she don't like what's being presented. They done got tired of us destroying whatever beauty that has been made available to us by the universe through creation. And so um, let me tell you which one it is. Okay, which one you want? Or do you want them both? Either way it go, humanity has got to wake up. Um, Governor Andy Brashar said Kentucky's toll confirmed that 80 could rise to 100. It's probably more. Trust me, it's more. Um, as searches continue, he said going door to door was out of the question because the state's worst areas are hit. There are no doors from the total death of the storms at 94 with fatalities in Illinois, Tennessee, Arkansas, and Missouri. Oh, Lord. Wow. The twister carved a track that could rival the longest on record. Just, ooh, just missed us. As the storm front smashed apart a candle factory in Kentucky, crushed a nursing home in Arkansas, and flattened an Amazon warehouse in Illinois. At least eight people were killed in the candle factory uh, when a tornado rampaged through the small town of Mayfield, bringing the walls crashing down and tearing the roof off. Another eight workers are still missing as of this moment. Wow. Uh, Kiana Parsons Perez was among 110 employees working the night shift amid the busy uh, Christmas rush. Mm. After the storm hit, everything came down on us. She said, added, all that you could hear was screams and screams and screams, heroin screams. Wow, y'all. I mean, man. That is so, my gosh. My heart, again, and prayers go out to them. She, This Kiana Parsons uh, told um, NBC News, they had us in an area where you go to in case there's a storm. We all were there, and then the lights go flickering, and all of a sudden we felt a gust of wind. We could feel the wind, and then my ears kind of started popping as they would as if you were on a plane. She said they were rocked by the winds. Uh, everything came down on us. After that, she said all you heard again was the screams, the screams. Oh, y'all, this town of Mayfield, Kentucky is absolutely devastated. And they got children and little babies 
who were injured, um, you know, some that survived. And um, there was a fellow employee, Dakota. He called his girlfriend to tell her he loved her, believing that he was going to die in the chaos. I wasn't able to get a hold of him, Brandy told uh, the network, ABC. You know, I started panicking. And then later, he called me and said that he's trapped under all this debris and he can't see anything. And he wasn't sure if anyone was going to be able to find him. Mm -hmm. I could hear people screaming left and right all in the background. And I got scared because he called me and he said, I love you. Tell my mom I love her. I'm sorry, I tried. I mean, that is crazy. I mean, can you imagine? These people felt their lives crumbling right up under them. He said, I felt like my whole world ended. And like everything was going in slow motion. And yes, that's exactly how it feels. That's exactly how it feels. I've been there, baby. A lot of times, done that. Um, it's just a miracle and I'm still here. Just like it's a miracle that you're still there. But that's what happens. Everything seems to be going in such slow motion. Not knowing anything. And then when he called me. Out of the rubble. I just felt so good. This is his girlfriend now. But Dakota said he could not immediately come home. He said that he had helped to get others out of the rubble. After we got out. We started pulling the rest of them out. And we were able to get first responders. We found people with broken legs, pulling them out. Some were non-responsive, he counted. It was rough. Jackie and Doug Coon ran over to Jackie's mother's house where their eldest son was staying before the storm hit. I mean, nothing is scarier than knowing a tornado was heading your way and hearing your kids freaking out and thinking that you're going to die, Jackie wrote. Wow. Wow. When the fi tornado finally hit her mother's house in Dawson Springs, we we all went flying and ended up on the other side of our neighbor's house. It just missed in Wisconsin because we went up to Illinois and it stopped right there. I mean, God, and in the middle of December, it has. It's never. I've never known one to be this big, and, I, and like I said, this was record breaking. But there was one, a tornado in Wisconsin in December or January in the wintertime. Um, and it devastated the people on the northwest side of Milwaukee. There were some houses that were blown down. Um, this is unusual weather, you guys. That's all I'm trying to say. It, so, like I said, either global warming is real. And if y'all see the devastation of it now, you mean tell me y'all going to let these people get away with not addressing this stuff? You're going to keep on uh, uh, sending the same people to Congress to keep on playing with your lie lies and, our, and, and we keep on and just getting money? Or either God is watching us. Either way it goes, both endings are not very well. <laughs> And she about done with this. And done with us. Because the most unusual. The universe is turning on us. So there it is. Which one you want it to be? I know one thing. My heart and prayer goes out to everybody. That the Amazon workers killed. Oh my God. A lot of young uh, people. You know. We see them on their Facebook pages. I mean. Uh, Clayton Cope, uh, Ethra Her uh, Hebb, Kevin Dickey, DeAndre Morrow, uh, Larry Verdon, and Austin uh, McEwen. I mean, it's black and white. People that were killed. See, there's going to be these catastrophes that's going to allow people to see that we all bleed. And we're going to have to figure this out. Or we're going to perish as fools. Dr. King said it best. Okay, I'm going to see y'all in the next video. I want to know what y'all think about it. Is it me tripping? Because you already know. I'm. Why am I straight? <laughs> huh? 
Because this right here, whew, I need to be on some drugs. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.